Okay, so this is all mainstream media, and who knows what's true and what's not. Who knows what's just stirring up trouble and uh, trying to just cause division. But I think, from what I've read over a few sources, a few papers, I think there is a hint that Labour MPs are going to be backing Boris Johnson. I think there is a hint, uh, certainly there was in one of the papers something saying Caroline Lucas may consider backing Boris Johnson and let's get Brexit done. As a comrade, I appeal to you, please don't do this. As a socialist, I appeal to you. As somebody who, together with his wife, takes, you know, each of those are about a day's worth of medication when they're full. As somebody who takes all that medication every day provided by our NHS. As somebody whose wife injects this stuff and I inject other stuff every day. As somebody who consumes these test sticks to check my blood sugar, as somebody who depends upon insulin even to stay alive, as somebody who's had a heart bypass operation on our NHS. Look, you can still see the scar. That's what our NHS does to save people's lives. Look at it. Yeah, Without that scar, I would be dead. Without Papworth Hospital, I would be dead. Dennis Skinner, fellow socialist, member of the Labour Party, our Labour Party, he's got one of those scars. He'll tell you about his NHS bypass, done by a multinational team. Even then, people from the EU, people of all races, creeds and colours, involved in saving Dennis's life just like they were involved in saving my life. I plead with you, comrades, please do not side with the Tories and back Boris just so Brexit can be done. You know the catastrophic result that will have for ordinary people. You know, of course, as I know, that billionaires, tax avoiders, tax dodgers, people who are up there with the super, super rich, rich list, isn't it a bitch list? I did a poem about that once, yeah? But someone who's right at the top of the isn't it a bitch list, yeah? They're not going to miss it, are they? I don't really care about what James Blunt said. I happen to rather like his music. I happen to know he was involved in the army. Uh, I happen to know he served as an officer. Apparently his father was a colonel. My father, long dead now though, was a major in the British army. He served as a man, as a boy. Unlike James Blunt, he went, he went up through the ranks and retired as a major. Yeah. Now, I don't care about all these people saying, let's just get it done, let's get it railroaded through, because the people it is going to hurt are people like me and my wife. People like us are going to be left without these medications. Our National Health Service is going to be dismantled, sold to America, sold to Trump, regular treatments on which I rely to stay alive, I won't be able to pay for. I appeal to you, comrades, please do not vote with the Tories. Give people a second referendum, by all means. I 100% back that. But we have worked so hard. We have waited so long. Please do not back the Tories. <laughs> to be honest with you, 
if you do, I personally will find it hard to ever forgive you. I will still continue to vote Labour. <laughs> Pardon me. There is no other choice. I'm Labour, I am Socialist all of my life. I will still vote Labour, don't get me wrong. But honestly, comrades, if you, if you back Bozo Boris billionaire Johnson and his billionaire Etonian friends and vote this through, I sincerely believe you should be deselected. So end on a positive note, please, comrades. Don't back the Tories. Don't do anything just to make this stop. Thank you, comrades. This is a direct appeal to Labour Party members in the House of Commons, on the front and the back benches. This is a direct appeal personally from myself as a Labour Party member. Oh,